Hi everybody, I'm Dana Flowers here again to do a quick makeup haul. Uh, excuse the hair. I didn't do anything to do today, like at all. I just let it air dry, so I just pulled it back. So excuse the hair. But over the last past couple weeks, I have been shopping quite a lot. <laughs> So I actually have a lot to show you guys, but this one is just going to be strictly the makeup that I've purchased, the makeup products that I purchased, and I've actually been trying out two new brands, new to me anyway, and I love them both. Uh, the first brand I'm going to start with is the Coastal Scents brand. You can order their products on Coastal Scents. Dot com. I'll post a link in the information below if you haven't heard of them. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people on YouTube use the products. So that's where I actually heard of about it from. It's from YouTube. So I'm going to start off with... Uh, I actually purchased their Camo Quad. It's in dark. It's like a wheel of concealer. It has four different colors in it. It looks like this. Uh, this is the Camel Quad Dark. It's actually really useful. I use it a lot, actually. I actually use this color, and, oops, this one, the most. Um, it's actually really good. I think I only paid, I don't know how, I think it was like $5 or 5 something. I believe less than $6 for this concealer quad. And, you know, I was buying it. I was like, oh, I'm going to try it out because I do use concealer. I use it under my eyes and my brow bone and around my mouth and, you know, to cover up dark spots. And it is actually really good. And $5, you can't beat that. You cannot beat $5, 5 $6. Coastal Scents is really reasonable. That's another thing that I like about them. I went online and when I saw how reasonably priced every item is and the quality of the product that you are getting is phenomenal i'm going to show you uh some eyeshadows that i purchased from coastal Scents. i actually purchased two palettes um of eyeshadows the first one is going to be the 88 original palette it has 88 different eyeshadow colors the palette looks like this I think I paid, I don't know, I think this was maybe like 20 something dollars, but it's definitely well worth it. The colors come up very vibrant, I must say. And these are the 88 different shades that you actually get. It is crazy, right? The quality of the product, like I said, is great. And so far, I've used, I used quite a bit of them, except I haven't used, oops keep going the wrong way the greens yet or the grays but I've actually used quite a bit of products already out of my little 88 palette just playing around with the different colors I'm like a little makeup fanatic so I like playing around in the makeup um, also I purchased the 28 neutral palette this are this is the one that I'm actually wearing right now I actually put on I believe four different colors today out of this palette and this is how this palette looks. This color is on my lid. This one is in my crease. I actually use, I think this one I actually use on the outer. I used that one on the outer lid, I believe. No, it actually wasn't that one, I'm sorry. I used that one on the outer lid. And then I used this one in the corner of my eye. So I actually used a couple different colors today. Ugh, my phone is ringing. I guess I should have turned my phone off before I started filming this video. Uh, um, then I have the, I actually bought a blush, the blush palette. It's the Six Contour blush palette that I purchased. I've actually been using this quite a bit too, to, um, especially when I just want a light natural looking day I don't want a whole lot of makeup on I'll put the blush palette on it comes with six different uh two blushes a contour shade of course which is really good and three different highlighting shades 
I've actually used every single one of these colors except this one. Um, really, really good products. Like I said, I was surprised by the quality that I got from Coastal Scents. So I would definitely recommend the product to anyone watching my video right now. Uh, they are really, really good. Very affordable pricing. Um, I'm happy with them. I have no complaints about them at all. I'm actually glad that I found out about the products on YouTube. Like I said the power of YouTube. The next brand I'm going to show you. I actually purchased this brand when I was out in New York last weekend. And I'm not really sure how do you pronounce the name, but I'm going to pronounce it Inglot, I believe. I N G L O T. Yeah. I actually like their products. This is the press powder that I purchased, and that's the box that it comes in. I've been using this a lot lately as well. Uh, this one is um number 61. It looks like that. It's actually supposed to be equivalent to Matte Studio Fits Powder. It is really, really, really good powder, really good press powder. If you're looking for something that's not a real heavy coverage, um, it can give you a little fuller coverage, but it's not too heavy. So it is a good, good, good press powder. I bought, oh, I don't even know. I believe these eye, these eyelashes that I purchased from Inglot as well. They are a number 30 in, I believe. I thought these were really pretty to feet. The girl in the store told me that they call these the Kim Kardashian lashes. So I wanted to give them a try. I think they were really pretty. I haven't worn any of the lashes that I got from them yet. So that was one of the lashes that I purchased. I actually purchased two eye pigments from them. And... One of them is a number 84. I guess a lot of their products come in numbers. And, um, I have the boxes mixed up. But this is the number 84. This is, it comes in a little pigment box like that. And this is the pigment. As you can see, you can probably kind of tell that it, it, it looks like a shiny type of olive kind of green kind of color. But it's actually mixed with browns and it has like little shimmers of green mixed in. I'm going to try to get the lighting to show you guys. Uh, maybe I can swatch it so you guys can see, get an idea of what it looks like at least. Got my makeup brushes sitting back behind there. Because mm, it's not really showing up. Uh, can you guys see it? That's that's the color. That's how the swatch is on right there. Uh, my camera lighting is kind of bad right now. Um, but that's the pigment color that I purchased. And like I said, it has like hints of like iridescent greens mixed in with brown. It's really, really pretty on. Um, I bought a body pigment powder from Inglot as well. It's in a number 86. It's kind of like a burnt orange kind of color. And I am very, very impressed with their product line. And they are actually really affordable as well. I think the body, the pigments, the two pigments that I purchased was 14. The pressed powder was 18. Uh, the lashes I think was like either 11 or 12 or 10 or something like that. But I come... I actually opened this today. I haven't opened it since I, um, I haven't opened any of the products since I purchased them last week because, you know, I just automatically assumed that everything would be okay. But I actually opened my burnt orange, that's the orange color, product, and it is empty. Like, it's like literally not. It's like very, it's like a very small amount of pigment in here, and I was very upset about it when I opened it. I was like, "What the, what the hell is going on?" Like, 
I came into the store in Times Square in uh, New York. That's where I purchased my items from. And, you know, I'm thinking that everything is swell. I don't live out in New York. I live in Michigan. So it's not a store here in Michigan. So I can't take it back. Like, really? I was kind of upset about it. But this is how much pigment I have in there. That's ridiculous. Like, you see, can you guys see? Like, let me open up the other pigment and show you that this is how much pigment <laughs> I have. You see how empty this is and how full this is? So I wrote the company and hopefully I will ship this back to you guys if you want this little bit of pigment that you guys sold me. I will ship gladly ship it back if you send me a full amount of pigment. Like I thought that was really ridiculous when I opened it up and I was like okay no pigment. I really really like the color. Let me see if I can swatch it for you. That is the, that's the color. It's really pretty, but I didn't get all of my product in the jar. So I was kind of pissed off about that and got, I really like your line. I would purchase more items for you, from you guys, but I would definitely check to make sure that it's all there. I don't want to discourage you guys from buying their product because it actually is really good product and I'm not going to bash a really good product. I was just kind of just a, maybe it's just a little mishap, but I would love, I would definitely love for them to respond with, oh, thank you, Miss Flowers. We are so sorry for the inconvenience, but we would definitely send you another number 86. Um, also... Um, I purchase new mascara. I always use Maybelline, um, but this is a new, another brand that I'm, another version of mascara that I'm using for Maybelline. It's called Maybelline Illegal Length, and I actually like it. I haven't switched mascaras in a very long time, and I really, really like this mascara. So that's it for my little cosmetic haul for right now i have other little things that i need to show you guys but i'm already in 13 pushing 14 minutes so i'm going to stop here because it will be a very very long video because i have a lot of stuff i'm going to break it up in increments so thank you guys for watching my youtube thank you guys for sitting here and checking out my haul hopefully you will try some of the products that i have shown you because everything i've shown you is really a good brand um i wouldn't show you anything that i wouldn't recommend um and i definitely recommend those brands besides that one mishap with inglot i'm actually extremely happy with the product the price of the product for both them and coastal scents so hopefully you guys uh try the products let me know if you have those products already and how you like them leave your comments below we'll be glad to hear from you guys and see what um you think about either coastal scent products or inglots products if you already use them maybe help someone else you know with their decision to purchase products because that's what i do i look at comments i look at uh, reviews that people leave of products so I can get an idea if this is something really that I really really want to purchase and I can say that both of these brands are really really good I will be ordering more more items from Coastal Scents definitely and more items from Inglot because they actually have a really good line of products and I was actually surprised with the products that Inglot had and Coastal Scents and how highly pigmented they are. So thank you guys for watching my video. Look forward to you guys continuously checking out my video. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you.